Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a DIY for us tonight. I also just spilled some coffee. That's my life. Um, we are going to make counting pins is what they call them in the cross stitch world. They could be hat pins. They can be decorative pins. Mm. Sorry, I needed some coffee and it is pumpkin spice season. So there's that. Um, they're, they're used for all sorts of things. I'll show you what I do with mine. I made this little, I took this little teacup from one of the craft stores and I took felted wool and I made it real tight and glued it down in there. And then I put my decorative little pins in here in a pin cushion. I just use them more so for like a decoration. However, I do also use them for what I make them for and their intended purpose is counting stitches in cross stitch. But again, there's a million different reasons. So let's go over some supply basics first. First things first, you're gonna need some kind of glue. Um, I think I got both of these at the dollar store. This fix all adhesive is very comparable to E6000 and I also like the smaller tube. I like this cement, it dries clear um, and it's a quick hold. This I got at the Dollar Tree, but I don't feel like it's a Dollar Tree brand. So either one of these glues will work. You want a thicker glue, not necessarily a super glue. And I know some folks even use um, like a white glue. Use what you want and choose your own adventure, right? But you definitely need some type of an adhesive. I wouldn't go with hot glue just cause it's messy. Um, I use toothpicks to put the glue on, just easier to control. And I got these as well at the Dollar Tree. And I will put the glue in this little cup, also from the Dollar Tree, comes in a 12 pack. I just put the glue in here and then I dip because I'm doing a lot. If you're just doing one, you can just squeeze the tube, ouch, squeeze the tube onto your toothpick, but I'm doing multiple, so that's where we're at. You need some type of a clip. Um, I got these at Dollar Tree as well. These are great for lots of crafting purposes. They're just miniature little clamps, and they, I like the silicone, so the glues don't send a stick to that. If you don't have those or enough, these little oops, these little clips for quilters wonder clips they're called for fabric they work just as well so you can use those but you need something to hold the beads on and i'll show you that in a second and then you're going to need some type of a pin to put it on and there's all kinds of options depending on what you want my preferred is this pin right here I get them on Amazon. I'll try to remember to put the link down below. These are 20 piece brooch pin sticks and I believe they're three and five eighths inches long. So, and they come in 20 packs. Um, I like them because they have the bottom on here. Now the thing is they're a thicker shaft on this pin and so some of the smaller beads don't work. You just have to kind of know what kind of bead you're going to use. So this is my preferred right here. Then they have a smaller version, a shorter version with a flat tip on it instead of this round ball. It has a flat tip. Works just the same way. Is The, the shaft, I think, is about the same diameter. And it has the little safety on the bottom. And it's just shorter, so it gives you different dimensions if you're making lots of pins. It gives you different heights. So for smaller, whatever your choice is. Now, in the same world as these brooch pins came this one, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a hole in the top, a loop, and I hung a charm. These are going with me next year when I go over to England for the big stitch. So I got a set of charms that say Ohio, and I just made them on this little pin, and they go into a little baggie, and I will put maybe something else, but I thought that was cute. So that is also a, a pin I got on Amazon. And then these pins I just picked up at Joanne, probably Michael's maybe in the sewing section. These are extra long sewing needles pins and they have the black and the pearl tips. 
they're very sharp and they do not come with a safety tip on the end. But I bought a while ago these rubber earring backs. I think I got like a thousand of them. And so I'm just using those. They're super cheap on Amazon. And they, they fit on here just fine to make it a more safe. Also, I will probably be cutting pieces of felt to state, put these on when I get ready to package them. But I wanted to show you the options for your pins. Any pin can work. You just have to make it work. I would avoid, if you're searching for pins, sometimes it comes up with your jewelry making pin. The problem with those is the bottom is flat and it really won't stick into a pin cushion. So these are the, the options of pins that we have. This one is complete, so I will put it over here. And this is how I have them stored, but I'll show you that in a minute. So here are some options for beads. Uh, beads, I mean bells. These are just the miniature bells from the Dollar Tree. You can, and you can do any order you want, and they don't all have to be the same, but these fit on here nicely. What I will say is you can put bead, you know, your bell on top. You just need a small bead at the bottom. You're always gonna need a small bead to glue. Cause if it's too big like this, the amount of glue that you're gonna need for this to take purchase is gonna get messy because there's a lot of wiggle room in here. But I think that's adorable for Christmas. I made a couple myself. All right, we'll leave these so I don't, stab myself so this is definitely an option and super cheap uh one package would be one they're dollar 25 per package so that's an option i think most of these beads came from the dollar tree as well and um so did this plastic containers and i just sort them by color this is the size i prefer to use at the bottom to glue because they're small seed beads you just have to make sure that whichever one you select is big enough to go onto your pin. So there's these. And then the other beads, typically what I use for the tops, I got these at Joann's this weekend. These were four sets, four strings of beads for $10. So $2.50 a string. The regular price for these, I think these were $12.99 and these were $10.99. It was a fantastic bead sale, so I stocked up. And I'm gonna make a ton of these, and I'm gonna give them away at my retreat next month. So I have Santa hats. This is adorable. You have a mouse, and then the rest are three or four cats, and then another mouse at the bottom. And I take these off the string when I'm ready to do it. With this one here, this one already broke off, so I probably will take this springy thingy off and maybe even that. These all come apart. They're just stacked. And I'll show you that when I pull them out. Same with these. They're just on a string. You can take them apart and separate them however you want. So definitely they're on sale frequently at the different craft stores. Michael's has them, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, although I have not seen the, the, the seasonal ones at Hobby Lobby. These I got at Target in the teacher section. They were a dollar. These are flashcard holders, but they do a good job of holding all my blanks together. So let me show you how these come apart. Let's take, we're going to take this apart. Well, this one you're going to, I'm going to have to use my tools, right? So let's show you. You just kind of want to determine how it's being held together. Some of them are just on string. I'm just grabbing my, my tools here. Some of them are held together on um, like rubber strings, like fishing wire, and some of them like this are wired. These are for jewelry making. So what I would say here is, okay, let's take this bottom one at a time. Don't take them all off if you don't have to, right? So we'll take this one. I'm just going to open up the needle. Well, I'll probably just cut this one for time's sake. And then here is the deal. 
If I just throw this down, I may lose what order everything comes off in. So what I'm gonna do, I've decided I didn't want that piece, I don't think. So you just string them up here. I definitely want all the pieces on the little pumpkin. So I don't know if I like it that way better. I probably am gonna like it this way better. Yeah. And it just, it's a decorative pumpkin. Now it's on a pin. Now this one here, do you see in the bottom, the hole is kind of big, right? I also have all these beads over here. They're just different necklaces that got broken apart. And I'll show you them in a minute. But I do have, and I save every little bead that comes out. These tiny little beads here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this tiny little clear bead, I can put it up on the bottom and this little bead makes it easier to glue, right? Because it's a smaller bead and it will hide the glue. And then I put the bottom on to hold everything, right? So everybody's on here, we're not going anywhere. And then I throw it in here and that becomes um, all my stuff. None of these are glued yet, right? Look at these cats, I love them. I got all kinds of seasonal ones. This is just a tiny little one. I use one of these little flathead pins because sometimes you just want a little something. So that's how you would do that one. These Santa hats are on a string here, if you can see that. So I would just take, cut that bead off and that comes right off. And then you have this one extra. And these are the little beads that I like to keep these little ones to do on the bottom. These do come in brass too, I believe. You wanna watch though, make sure your tips, if you don't want the open hoop, like the little ones I had Ohio on, then don't, you gotta be careful. But like I said, I will try to put my, um, the links down below of the ones that I have purchased. And now this one is done. I mean, that's literally how easy this is. And I know some people get very detailed with theirs and use um, all the pretty beads and stack them up. And that's fun. I love doing that as well. But I just think this is super fun and easy, especially since I'm doing a lot and the deals were fantastic. So I'm going to use this white glue because it's already open. And this is not as stringy as the like E6000 type. All right, so that's out there. The good thing about these little containers, I can just toss it away. I don't have to worry about it because this type of glue does not clean up nicely. Okay, oops. So what I do is I know that this is at the tippity top. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me check. All right, you can see. So here's that bead that's floating, right? This little, that's what I'm gluing. I'm not gluing all of this. So I turn it over. And this white glue, like I said, it does dry clear, which is nice. And then I just put a little on the bottom, drop that bead and push it into that glue. Then I take one of these that has the silicone and I just clip it and now it's holding that bead up there. And that's it. I set it to the side to let it dry. And I'll show you with this one here, I added a couple clear ones at the bottom because I thought it was cute. You can add what you want or add not what you want. Like don't add things. Now, you just want to be careful with the glue and not get it too gooshy. You can use your fingers to wipe it off. And I'm spinning this while I'm doing it. And if I get it too messy, then I 100% will take my fingers and just clean it. The reason I put it on here to hold it is because I want it tight. Oops, 
that's a little too tight. I want it tight so that it holds these up to the tippity top. But all I've glued is right there. And then I let them dry. They'll dry overnight, they'll dry however long. Oh, look at this one. And I'm gonna show you here in a second, one more time, and I'll use one of these wonder clips. The one thing with the wonder clips, you just wanna be kinda of careful with the glue because it doesn't, they're not silicone coated. Am I showing you what I'm doing here? Yep, I just put a little dab of glue. Honestly, it does not take a lot. Slide it down and you're doing the same thing with these little wonder clips. You just wanna make sure you give it a good tug and pull it up there tight. See how that's kind of wobbly? Um, but it's this, it's this, the top of that bead. It's okay if it moves. I just don't want them sliding backwards. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? So if you hang on a second, I will go get the ones I've already made. Okay, here are the ones that I've made that are all dry. Oh, I also made with some beads, um, some charms. This is floss bling. I'll show you that in a different video, but I had made that. So this one here, I mean, please. I had to do a double glue on this. So I glued this crown to this bead because if you look at the bottom, the crown is very open. Um, and I wanted the purple in the top. So I made that. Um, this is what the candy corn looks like. And these are just a the little Swayovskis. And you see how the glue, you can't see it. <gasps> Look at the cauldron. Uh, uh, uh. Did I crack that? No, it's just the light. Um, and then I put a little green bead in this clear and some white and a white bead. And they move, like the top ones will move around. Oh, I made snowman or woman. I don't know what this person's gender is. Um, this is for Carrie of Roxy Floss. I'm making her one with the bird because she has birds. Look at this one. It looks like toothless. Isn't that awesome? These came from Michael's, the little bats, and on each string was only three bats and a bunch of beads, but that's okay. Um, this was the cats, and I put him on a purple. And see, I love the, the longer ones because then I still have room to like count and hold it and it's still cute. So I made the cat, here's the witch's hat and I just did these two beads. So everything is a little different. I tried doing three bells on this one. It's not bad. I don't know that I love it, but it's not terrible. It does jingle. And then I just put some clear ones up under there. On the ghost, I did some white and black. So that's a black bead and then a white black white. The ghost needed something up under his body. So I thought that was, that might even be purple. I don't know. It's black or purple. Oh, and I haven't, well, I did glue this. No, these were not glued down yet. So these beads here, these big beads I got at an antique store. They're from the nineties, just from a necklace that got took, taken apart. And then I had these and I add them up. So you can do like just beads, like pretty beads, any way you want. The same thing, these were from an old, this is old, it's like pottery, these beads. And then I just put some gold in between. And then this one here, these are just another little one with some colored um, matte beads. And I have this on the little pin as well. And then some of the other ones I made, I made this one with this big like candy ball this here is angel and it came like that i just added some extra at the bottom but this is how it came on the string with the wings is an angel no this is a dragonfly sorry there was there were our angels this one here was just a little sparkler i showed you the ohio one and then this is just a little one with three of the little crystals on it and that's it that is how i make these so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and you get to make in your own. Check the description box below if you would like to find out which size I ordered and where I got them on Amazon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. Bye.